Yo, what up? Reverend 20 Piece here with another beer review. So today's beer is Heilemann's Old Style out of Chicago, Illinois. So <laughs> this, this beer, I've had this before and apparently this is a, a Chicago favorite and a good friend of mine. We we occasionally, there's a, a group of us that exchanges, exchanges, if I can get the words out correctly, care packages. And this came, I think he sent three or four of these in one of the care packages. So very uh, interesting, festive, uh, <laughs> classic lager beer. So yeah, I'll go ahead and read off the can to you. So this says, Heilemann's Pure Genuine Old Style. Classic lager, sparkling... It's a, I think I might have uh, read that in, out of order. Old World Methods, Choicest Hops, Sparkling Pure Spring Water. Hmm. Sounds good. <laughs> but yeah, so this is, uh, according to the can notes, this is made by the G. Heileman Brewing Company out of Milwaukee, Wisconsin. Although on their website, it, there is a discrepancy because it's clearly made by Pabst out of Chicago, Illinois. I'm not, I'm not sure exactly which brewery brews this, but you know, it is what it is at this point. So one other thing before I move on, the can is really, it's, it's pretty interesting if you get a chance to kind of, if you ever pick these up and take a look at them. It has like this medieval slash pre-industrial revolution style scenery going on on the can so yeah it's kind of that's kind of different kind of interesting but anyway so the price i didn't buy this i got it as a gift but from what i can tell by doing some quick internet research it's about nine to ten dollars for a 12 pack cans and bottles roughly the same price so it is 4.64 percent alcohol by volume ibu not sure couldn't find any stats on that based on the can or through the quick quick internet research Google machine. And so yeah, so let's go ahead and just get into it as far as the the look, smell, and taste. So this is, check this out. It's nice. It's coming off on camera a little orange, it looks, it appears to be. But in person, it's a golden lager. Just a classic style golden lager. <clears throat> Excuse me. When I when I did the smell, I mean this this to me this just smells. It's got that classic beer smell. It smells. It reminds me like of the ballpark going to a ball game, something along those lines. So I'm nothing nothing obnoxious, out of line. Just a regular normal, not overpowering beer smell. So, for the taste. I would say for me, it's, it's really a classic lager taste to me. A little, not overpowering, not too strong. It has, a little bit of sweetness to the taste, at least to me. Nice smooth finish. Not really much of uh, any kind of bite on the end. Goes down smooth. You can feel kind of the sparkling bubble, bubbly effect on your tongue as, as, as you swig it on down. <laughs> But yeah, I mean, regular, classic, American-style lager. That's how I describe it. So, as far as the texture, as I was saying, <clears throat> pretty smooth. The, the mouthfeel. I'd say pretty light mouthfeel. Pretty light, along with the smooth texture. Not real heavy, not real filling beer. And again, I guess for my rating, this is off the top of my head. I didn't really, I didn't think about this at all as far as what I was going to give it. I wanted to give it, I, I think it's, this is one of those beers that's, that's kind of um, misunderstood or, or just gets a, a kind of a trash beer reputation or 
maybe working class or you know lower class type beer you know not that, i'm not saying working class people are lower class i come from the fucking working class so <laughs> i guess i must you know self-deprecation just in, in insulting myself but <laughs> either way uh it, the, the beer doesn't seem to have a very good reputation overall although i do remember i don't this is probably at least 15 years ago but there was some guy he lived up in the Chicago area and he had bought this coffin and had it screen printed with old style graphics. <laughs> he wanted to be buried in old style um, themed coffin. So that was, that was kind of interesting. But anyway, I guess to the rating, uh, Beer Advocate's got it listed as a 67 out of 100, which is a poor rating. It's got a 2.8 out of 5 stars on untapped. So, you know, not a real good reputation. Me, with Bud Light being my personal baseline on a scale of 1 to 10, Bud Light being a 5 right in the middle, just, uh, I may reevaluate that too at this scale, but right now, Bud Light's the baseline, you know, standard, just regular beer. It, it, that may not be the right baseline for everything, so I may come back with a different scale at some point, but for right now, Bud Light's the baseline at 5. I'd probably give this... I give it probably a seven, I don't know, for me, for at least in this style, classic American style lager, at least a 7.5, you know, I, I, I don't, um, well, I'm trying to think of the right way to say it. I, I definitely, if, if you, if you've never had it and you like a classic American style lager type beer, give it a shot, give it a try. I, I definitely, it's not sold in this area. I live in Northwest Arkansas. For those who are, who are unaware, <laughs> it is not sold here. But if it were, I'd, I'd probably buy it every, every now and then, you know, just to kind of sit around and casually drink. 4.6%, not going to get you too rocked. So, um, yeah, I think just for an average American lager beer, it's it's pretty good. I could see myself drinking this at the ballpark at a, at a you know, Wrigley Field at a Cubs game, enjoying myself on a, on a nice summer day with some old style. So, anyway. That's what I got for today, and that's my review of Heilemann's Old Style. All right, take care. 20 out. Face down in the gutter, won't admit defeat, though his clothes are soiled and black. He's a big, strong man with a child's mind. Don't you take his booze away. Hey!